It's like the, the liquid from inside grilled oh, prawns. Oh dear God. Ashley's team here has been inspired by the food from Pompeii, the amazing Roman recipes and the Roman art to create some fantastic meals which are going to appear in Heston's restaurant. We think we've taken quite a lot of ideas and inspiration from what we've seen. Uh, we were really fascinated by the, the sort of eating culture of the people of Pompeii. We loved the, yes. um, <laughs> the ingredients that you found. I mean, that's one of the most surprising ones. Um, Absolutely. And I hope we, we've kind of linked back into the carbonised ingredients that you've got on display there, but also taken the forms of some of the dishes. The first thing, we were all particularly taken by your carbonised loaf of bread. Yeah. So, we actually have our own little Pompeii loaf. Amazing. Of carbonised bread. Um, it's made with a, a spelt porridge, um, it's got some ancient grains in there and then we use a kind of activated carbon um, to give the colour in. Um, and and you should put carbon in the loaf? Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Where, where's the carbon from? It's, it's made from um, burnt coconut husks. To see the, the loaf like this, um, where you've fused the idea of the modern loaf with the carbonised loaf, it's, it's amazing. So with that, we need some amazing butter, but we have made um, a Bay of Naples butter from your lovely mosaic of oh, the yes. sea creatures. the sea creatures, yes, yes. We've made our own butter. Right, so, got a Bay of Naples butter, and we want to try and make this um, look similar to what people have been digging away, right. rediscovering Pompeii. That's nice to so we're taking liquid nitrogen, yeah. minus 196 degrees Celsius, wow. and we're freezing it, oh just getting a real bit of so texture. Oh, that is and amazing. That's it. So we're just going to set that now. That's it. Set that to cold. Oh, that is so cool. What we're going to do is take our little volcanic ash butter, and it's the volcanic stones, of course, that preserved everything for us, that, that built up yeah. and buried the kitchens and buried the streets. And so to bring back the stones as something you can eat, that, it, yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Your dinner party was a main focus of your power. Right. That's where you show people how wealthy you were. One of the ways was the amazing foods you bring together, the exotic ingredients. So they'd have loved this. Pompeii and bread. I think it's amazing, isn't it? You know, we've only got the, the, the Roman food, our knowledge of it, the actual food, because of that eruption of Pompeii. It yeah. was a disaster, but on the other hand, for us, it's, it's enabled us to, to have the chance to do things like this. I mean, the, the thing that surprised us was the, just the, the, the condition of things that have been preserved for all those years. And, and when you see food that looks just like food. It's smaller, yeah. it's shrunken, but on the other hand, it's real food. Okay, Pompeian bread with Bay of Naples butter. Mm. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And I love that, the, the little bits of red almost recalling the, the red hot lava yeah. and the stones. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Complimenti, as the Italians would say. Mm.